I am heading out for a Thanksgiving morning walk with Pip. She's going to be home alone for a little while today, so I thought I'd uh, take her on a walk. And it's uh, actually quite nice. I thought it was going to be raining out here, so I'm quite bundled up and it's not even that cold. It's like 46 and clear. I mean, I think it might rain later, but we'll see. Whoa, this rock has been here for ages. It is not the rock of ages, but it has been here for ages like long before we moved in 17 years ago and it has cracked i'm guessing from the repeated freezes at night that is so crazy wow bummer because i love that rock but still really cool we had a flurry of last minute activity trying to get everything packed up and ready to go we're now heading out to jason's parents house where we're going to have thanksgiving with my family and jason's mom and dad um, probably won't film a lot of that. Might say hi, might not. Probably not. I don't know. It's going to be kind of crazy. So we're out of here. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving or had by the time you see this. Isaac's gonna try to start opening this while you roll the dice. As soon as you get a double, this. this goes to you. And, and then and whatever candy keeps, falls out, you get. Whatever comes, you get. But you can't tear the saran wrap, you're unwrapping it. Well, it's in pieces. Yeah, but you're not tearing at it. Like, oh, obviously, no, I can reach. No. Hey, we're no. the face. You Are have you doing to this take with the oven mitts on? Yes. individual pieces. Exactly. Just try it. We'll go around one round one with the round oven mitts on, and if it's too hard with the oven okay, mitts, we'll take them okay. off. Okay, so put them. Bev, one the you? plate is for the Becca. rolling. Rebecca. Rebecca. So, Which one she's, just a minute. Which she's going to start rolling the dice while you try to get the going. Yeah. Soon as she rolls a double, she gets to take it. Can you even oh, no! no! So this morning I was trying um, a recipe and I actually was going through um, on the iPad, I was going through just old photos and things and I found this recipe that was on there for three ingredient bread. Now it was beer and flour and sugar. It said you could swap the beer for lemon lime uh, soda or seltzer. And uh, we don't drink beer, so I used lemon lime seltzer in here. Unfortunately, I also have to use gluten-free flour. So I think, I was actually impressed with this in the tin. It had raised, raised, it rose, rised, root. I don't know, I can't think of that word right now. Anyway, it was up pretty good. It looked pretty good, but as you can see, as I took it out and this is literally like 30 seconds after I took it out, it just dropped. And when I inserted the toothpick, every time I did, it was still like that gluten-free gummy inside. So for those of you who know gluten-free, you get two options. You get gummy or you get, um, what's the word I want? Dried out, like chalky, dried out. So those are kind of your grainy, whatever. So you get the idea. So you get two options. You don't usually get nice, soft, fluffy bread. But this is why I have continued to buy bread at Costco because this was, you know, this was just a total wing. I'm thinking three ingredients, how's it gonna work? Don't you think that the yeast in the beer, like the, the fermentation of the beer is what's gonna make it rise um, versus the seltzer? Um, and then also there's no gluten in the bread. So then you lose that aspect. So I think that, um, It'd be worth a try if you 
had beer in your house to try it. It's two cups flour, one can of beer, and three tablespoons of sugar. So I'm thinking that combination could work because of the reactivity of the sugar with the beer with the gluten, you might actually have it work. And then 375 for 30 to 40 minutes. However, because I had to make so many changes, I think this is a no-go, which means I can now delete that recipe from my photo album. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that because I think it's, it's really interesting. I like to bake, I like to cook, I like to try new things. And in this case, I, I like to get rid of recipes that aren't any good. So I'm gonna cut it up, we'll use it, um, probably toast it or something, I don't know. But I don't usually throw it out. It's gotta be pretty nasty for me to throw it out. Okay, it looks even worse now. It's just completely dropped down in the center. And as I suspected, it is super gummy inside. So you can see this is just like sticky, blech, blech, blech. Um, this is very typical of gluten-free uh, products if you don't do something besides just swap one-to-one. -one. Sometimes you can. This is Namaste flour, and I usually like it for most things but I usually use gluten-free recipes, not a standard recipe and swap it in. Sometimes you can. I think this recipe just didn't have enough going for it to begin with, with only three ingredients. Um, and then having to swap out the flour and the beer for seltzer. Um, so we're getting creative. I cut a few pieces off. You can see it's just completely glued to the thing. And note, I know there is like zero nutritional value in this. It's just crappy flour. I had thought I would make it normal first, and if it turned out, then I would add some stuff to it to make it, uh, you know, healthier or give it some protein or anything besides just crappy white bread. Um, anyway, I decided I'm gonna I cut a couple pieces off and I'm frying them on here just to see uh, what that's like. It might still be disgusting. They are nice and nice and browning up, but it might still be disgusting. We'll see. Adventures in cooking with gluten-free crap. I'm walking over to a house to pick up a book for Isaac. I'm actually picking up two books. I'm just going to drop one off at the little free library near us because none of us will read that one. And I was open and honest about that. And the guy was fine with that. So he only lives like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes from my house. So I'm going to walk over with the dog and pick that up and then walk back. So. Yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. It is Sunday, November 28th. Yeah, exciting morning. Oh, this is how we bacon. spend our Sabbath. We randomly go to a store. Jason was looking for something. Uh, those grommets for his motorcycle project. But then we get lost because it's Harbor Freight. I mean, Harbor Freight, and we just wander in this store. Dog, beware of motor. So basically, as you go along, you see private property, no trespassing. Beware of dog, warning, protected by guard dog. Never mind the dog, beware of owner. All right, Isaac and I just arrived at Jennings Memorial Park in Marysville, and there's some there's adorable um, grapes here. Mmm, they're not even raisins Who's anymore. Who's Jennings? They're nasty. Who's Jennings? All right, we're gonna go check out this park. Here we go. We found a phone booth. It's miraculous. Does it actually have a phone in it still? Oh, it does. Yeah, you can't open it though. Oh, they've latched it. Darn. I really want one of these for my little free library at home. I think it'd be awesome. They want way too much money for these now though and scrappy. And Isaac's harassing me. Look at this old homesteady type building. Very cool. This is a steam donkey. 1901. Vulcan Ironworks. Oh, for logging, okay. That's cool. Here's the instructions. Um, Daddy will like this. Okay, that's enough. Take a that's picture. That's enough, that's enough. Take a that's picture. enough. That's Isaac's good. done, here, let's go back to the playground. Okay, fine, go, go, run, run. We had grandma for his birthday buy him a, a bird identification book because we were going on a lot of nature hikes this summer and uh, he was a 
Wow, even on camera it looks beautiful. Man, look at that. It is pretty pretty. This is oh. our this oh. is our temporary it's Christmas Christ. tree. Um, we're not getting our tree till December 11th because that's when our friends can go with us. We everybody here already owns the presents they're being given. Okay, so and then I Isaac, don't know what's in that one. Isaac got all excited because we're giving each other gifts that we already own just for fun because you know we're in holiday mode. All right, we got to find Christmas music. No, no, not not you singing. Isaac's playing Santa. You, Daddy. I get a thing. Oh, oh, Daddy. Just so you all know, it's 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 just it's not even December. <laughs> it's November 29th. You're opening? Yeah, you have to open it. What of my things did I get back? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's still more wrapped. He was sure you were trying to protect it. Oh, I know what that is. It's tungsten! Your tungsten? A wolfram. Yeah. Tungsten cube. All right, who's next, cool. Isaac? You! I'm, sure I'm like next. This is for you! Oh, great. What of mine did I get back? <laughs> oh. I got my iPad Whoa. that Isaac uses because it's mostly his now. <laughs> Yay! Oh <laughs> All right. What's in the other one? What's in the blue one? I don't know. Who's that for? It's for the boy. All right. Oh. Wait, what's the other one? Wait, he gets two? Oh my and goodness. Two. Okay, open that, that one. one. I I did one for him. I didn't know you did. Also, he got two. Tippy, I don't, don't help. <gasps> Tippy, no help. It's, it's oh, a hamster yeah. one. Oh, wow. You have to insert your own hamster. Pip really to. likes wrapping paper. I have to insert my own hamster. Yeah. I don't have a hamster, I thought You took, him out, you took him out of there. No, I put, him, I put him back. Oh, you put him back? I didn't know that. All right, what's your other gift? gift? Well, he's young. I don't know why I get two gifts. Um, Pip loves wrapping paper. Christmas oh, is her favorite holiday. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a snap it's ship! ST33 gunship. Wow. All right, Merry Not Christmas, everyone. Right, we'll Merry go. Not Christmas. Merry Not Christmas. So after we opened our non-Christmas Christmas presents, I am building Isaac's Overwatch thing, and he built his Snapships thing, and Jason is helping whenever we need help while reading his book. Well, it's a book Isaac and I read that we recommended he read, and I am so tired. I am about to fall over, so I am at this point. No, I don't know where I'm at. I'm at the sticker point, and Jason's using his macro vision. Micro vision? I don't know. I'm too tired to put that I sticker on. And I think I'm going to call it quits before opening bag two because I am too tired.